Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brian Snow. I am sitting in for Jason Joseph, and we have the third of this four game set. Uh, the teams have split the first two, and we're ready for some lineups as I'm late coming on, and I apologize for that. The Pittsburgh Pirates, who are 10 and 4, line up this way. Leading off is the shortstop O'Neill Cruz. Watch him. Brian Reynolds bats second in left field. Key Brian Hayes bats third at third base. Jack Zawinski bats fourth. He's in center field. Batting fifth is Bo Olivares. He's the designated hitter. Rowdy Telez, the former Blue Jay, bats sixth. He's at first base. Connor Joe bats seventh in right field. Henry Davis bats eighth. He'll catch and batting ninth. Alika Williams, he is at second base. Through the lineup again, Cruz, Reynolds, Hayes, Sawinski, Olivares, the DH, Telez, Joe, Davis, and Williams. For the Phillies, defensively in the outfield, Pache is in left, Rojas is in center, and Nick Castellanos is in right. Around the horn, third to first, Alex Bohm, uh, Alec Bohm at third, Trey Turner at short. At second base, Amundo Sosa, Bryce Harper at first. Stubbs behind the plate. He'll catch the pitching of right-hander Spencer Turnbull. Turnbull comes in 1-0 on the year. Doesn't have an ERA. He has 11 innings pitched, 9 hits, 2 walks, 6 strikeouts. Has not surrendered a home run on the year. As the Phillies and Pirates are ready to go, I'm going to look over here to my left. Cruz, Reynolds, Hayes, Sawinski, Olivares, Telez, Joe Davis, and Williams. Phillies go white tops, white bottoms with the script Phillies and numbers and lettering in red trimmed in blue. They go with the blue caps with the red bill and the red P for Phillies on the on the top on the top of the cap. Once again, my name is Brian Snow. I am sitting in for Jason Joseph. I'll have you today and tomorrow at 1.35, we're on both channels today, so would appreciate it if y'all would uh, drop some uh, drop some comments. Let me get this comment doc up. Uh, I'm building this as I go because I kind of sort of maybe fell asleep uh, in, the, uh, in the office here. I fell asleep here in the studio. We're ready to go as O'Neill Cruz bats for the Pirates. Gray tops, gray bottoms, black numbers and lettering trimmed in gold we're ready for the first pitch of today's game as turnbull has the ball set at the chest he winds up from the chest high wine kicks and fires a swing and a miss and off we go at 407 p.m eastern daylight time first pitch time is 72 degrees oh and one the count turnbull winds and fires a swing and a chop foul and the count is now 0-2. Uh, AJ Dunas says, where's JJ? JJ is ill today. Hardcore for all says, good day, Mr. Snowman. Good day to you. Uh, we're on both channels uh, this afternoon, so check us out. The 0-2 pitch, low and outside with a changeup, and the count is 1-2. and two. Cruz, Reynolds, and Hayes to bat for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's won for 14 cruises in his last four games. He's hitting at 268, two homers. He's driven in four. The pitch on the way is outside with a changeup, and the count is now even at two balls and two strikes. Two and two the count. The wind, the kick, and the pitch. A curveball. Strike three called right in there with a sinker. And we start with a strikeout as O'Neill Cruz is called out on strikes. He is now one for 15 in his last four games. One up, one down here in the bottom of the first. You all are going to see the uh, starting soon uh, scene while I build this board together because I will be with you tomorrow as well. Turnbull is ready from the windup. He kicks and fires to Reynolds, and that is low and inside for ball one with a fastball. Your umpires this afternoon, Nick Marley behind the plate, calling the balls and strikes. Hudson at first, Hunter Wendell at second, at second, and John Trumpane is at third. 
one and oh the count the wind up in the pitch on the way outside two balls no strikes with a sweeper daniel berry sports highlight says hey everyone hello to you daniel two and oh the count the wind the kick and the two oh strike called right down the middle with a sweeper the counts two and one Two balls, one strike, one out here in the top of the foist. From the windup, here's the 2-1. Low and outside with the changeup, it's now 3-1. and one. Three and one the count. From the windup, here's the 3-1 pitch. Strike called right on the corner with a fastball. And the count is now three and two. Three and two, one out, nobody on. Top of the first, Spencer Turnbull on the bump. The payoff pitch on the way. Outside, ball four with a fastball. And the Pirates get their first runner of the afternoon. Only the third walk on the year issued by Spencer Turnbull. It's to Brian Reynolds and Keith Brian Hayes, the third baseman, will now step to the plate one out one on here in the top of the first key brian hayes at 273 doesn't have a home run but he's driven in six turnbull from the set kicks and fires a swing and a fly ball in the center field coming on it's down it's past rojas it's headed toward the running track that'll get a run home into second base, the throw to the plate, and he and the pitch is cut off. Throw back to second. Safe is keep Brian Hayes, and immediately the Pirates have a one nothing lead. Oh baby, that ball was smacked. Oh, I put the wrong run there. Oops. Okay, I got my scoreboard straight. As Key Brian Hayes lined a double in the center field as Rojas made a dive and couldn't get to it. It kicked past him. It got to the warning track. That got home Brian Reynolds, and Key Brian Hayes now stands at second with one out and one run home. And the first pitch to Sawinski is outside ball one with a fastball. One ball, no strikes. One out, one in. Sawinski at 186 on the year. A home run, he's driven in three. And the 1 0 pitch. A swing enough shot foul. Third base side, and the count is now even. One ball, one strike. I jumped over and gave you a thumbs up on your channel. Thank you, Hardcore. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Subscribe to both channels. That way you'll know when JJ and I or I are on the air. One nothing Pirates, top of the first, the kick and the pitch, swinging a shot foul out of play, and the count's now one and two. And if y'all would be so kind, please help a snowman out as I am disabled and I'm trying to get back on my feet and help my family. Uh, if you can support via Cash App, the sign you need is dollar sign tall man Dr. K50. If you can support other ways financially, I'll give you the info as we go along. One and two, the count. The kick and the pitch, outside with a fastball, and the count is now even two balls, two strikes. Sawinski in the left-handed batter's box. Bo Olivares is next. one nothing Pirates, top of the first. Turnbull from the set, kicks, deals. A swing and a pop fly into short, caught by shortstop Trey Turner. And there's two down in the inning. Two down here in the... Top of the first, the Pirates now have a one nothing lead. And Bo Olivares to the plate, swings at the first pitch with a sweeper, and the count's 0-1 to Bo Olivares. He's hit to get 314 so far, three homers. He's driven in seven. The Pittsburgh Pirates, 10-4 and four on the year, 7-2 and two away from PNC Park. The 0-1 to Bo, a swing and a pop-up. 
on the infield. Bryce Harper has the call, has the ball, and the inning is over. One run, one hit, no errors, and one man left. We go to the bottom of the first. No, uh, one nothing in favor of the Pirates and the Phillies coming to bat. Well, I thought they were back, but I am. My name is Brian Snow, sitting in for Jason Joseph. Uh, this is Play by Play with JJ and Snowman Multimedia. Give us a like and a subscribe if you are here for the first time. Philly's lineup looks like this. Kyle Schwarber leads off the DH. Trey Turner bats second at short. Bryce Harper is batting third. He's at first base. Alec Bone bats fourth. He'll be at third base and the cleanup hitter. Nick Castellanos bats fifth, and Mundo Soso bats sixth. Garrett Stubbs bats seventh. He'll catch. Batting eighth is Christian Pache. He's in left. And Johan Rojas bats ninth. And a swing and a miss begins the inning from Kyle Schwarber, and the count's on one. Hitting at 218, two homers. He's driven in five. Through the lineup again, Schwarber, Turner, Harper, Sosa, Castellanos, a swing and a high fly ball into deep center field, going back at the track of the wall, and there she goes! And just like that, we are tied at one. The third homer of the year for Kyle Schwarber. Another Schwarbaum to straightaway center. And we have a new game at one. Where have we seen that before from Kyle Schwarber? Schwarber hits his third homer run of the year. He's now driven in six. And he knew he got a, he knew he got a hold of it. He stood and watched. It's to the deepest part of the park, 438 on the measurement. Marco Gonzalez primarily works from the stretch. He kicks and fires to Trey Turner. The count's on one. In a tie game, one apiece. Bottom of the first inning. From the windup, the 1-0 pitch. A swing and a bouncer foul, and the count's even one and one. That's Schwarbaum. From Snowman Multimedia is brought from Kyle Schwarber on Snowman Multimedia is brought to you by Fanatics. Marco Gonzalez, no record. He's pitched 11 innings as a 245 ERA. The kick and the pitch, a fastball strike, and the counts one and two. Kyle Schwarber, his 33rd career leadoff home run. One won the score. Like I said, I'm adding a few things as I go, and I want y'all to tell me if it if it looks okay. I'm trying to get the lineups up there. I'll work on that during the break, so you may see some things pop up. One-two pitch, slash foul to the right, and the count stays where it is at one and two. Bryce Harper will be next. Alec Bohm in the hole. One and two, the count. 
The kick in the pitch, a swing and a jive toward left, dropping, 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 fair ball, down to the wall, Turner rounds first, heads the second, he'll pull in with a stand-up double. And the Phillies have the go ahead run on with nobody out in the bottom of the first. That ball was smoked by Trey Turner. So he stands at second with nobody out in the bottom of the first. He took a fastball and lined it into left. Sunny day in Philadelphia, 71 degrees at first pitch. First pitch started, uh, first pitch was 407. Here's Bryce Harper to the plate. The pitch on the way, slashed foul to the left, and the count's on one. First pitch was thrown at 407 Eastern Daylight Time. Bryce Harper hitting at 220, three homers. He's driven in seven. 0 and 1, the count. Marco Gonzalez looks at Turner at second. The pitch is a strike with a cutter, and the count's 0-2. to Harper. And hold it. Time is called at the plate before the pitch can be delivered. Counts 0-2 to, Mar- to Bryce Harper. Marco Gonzalez standing at the plate. Good after that poor, poor strike zone. Glad he smoked it. Absolutely. Hardcore and to, to the rest watching, I hope I do y'all proud today. The pitch, swing and a miss, and Harper is gone. And there's the first down of the inning. So Harper strikes out. That'll bring third baseman Alec Bohm to the plate. Then Nick Castellanos, and then Mundo Sosa. A changeup right on the inside corner, and Harper knew he swung. He knew he swung at ball, a uh, ball too. Now, Alec Bohm is at the plate, the third baseman. As Gonzalez works from the set, set at the belt, a look to second, and the pitch strike called with a cutter, and the count's on one. Alec Bohm on the year hitting at 250. He has a home run. He's driven in nine. He has walked eight times. That leads the leads the club. 0-1 the count. A look to second, the kick and the pitch. A swing and a foul to the backstop, and the count's 0-2. We're tied at one here in the bottom of the first, each team with a hit. Alec Bohm with runners in scoring position this year, hitting at 364. The 0-2 pitch, a swing and a bouncer to third. Keep Brian Hayes up with it. The long toss to first is in time, and there's two out of the inning, and Turner stays at second base. With two down, the Mundo Sosa. Excuse me, Nick uh, Nick Castellanos will come to the plate, the right fielder. Gonzalez looks at second and fires, swing and a miss on a changeup, and the count's on one. One one your score, bottom of the first. A run scoring double for the Pirates and a long home run for the homestanding Phillies as they look to get the second game of this four game set. The pitch, swing and a bounce ball, heading to short, and it's through for a base hit. Turn around third. He's headed to the plate. Here's the throw in. It's not in time. Turner slides home safely. A run scoring single by Nick Castellanos. And the Phillies lead two to one. So Nick Castellanos drives in the go ahead run. The Phillies have the lead two to one here in the bottom of the first. And now Emundo Sosa, the sixth man to bat in the inning, will come to the plate. O'Neill Cruz could not come up with the sliding stop, and Turner slid home safely. Emundo Sosa stands in, and he takes a strike with a fastball, and the count is 0-1. Emundo Sosa with a home run and two RBIs. He's hitting 343 on average against the Pittsburgh Pirates. 0-1 the count. The pitch on the way. Swinging a foul off to the right, and the count's 0-2. Seriously, Larry is in the house. What up, Larry? 
And Butterfly, also in the house. Good afternoon to you. If you're here for the first time, my name is Brian Snow. I'm sitting in for Jason Joseph. You can subscribe to both of our channels with a like and subscribe and tell everybody you support us. The pitch, swing and a miss, and the inning is over. So a swinging strikeout ends the inning, but the Phillies get two runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left. To the second we go, it's the Phillies two and the Pirates one. We'll be back. Yep. Oh, yeah. To the top of the second we go, and uh, your batter is Rowdy Telez, hitting a 257 on the year. A home run, he's driven in six. And a balk. Oh, a pitch clock violation. That will happen. The camera crashed. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> My camera crashed. Oh, crap. <sighs> Dang it.
Okay. Did you miss me? I'm sorry about that. Whew. My camera crashed. I'm so sorry about that, folks. All right, let me get y'all updated on the game here. There is one out. We're in the top of the second, and it's two balls and two strikes. To Connor Joe, and the pitch is not swung on. Count is now full at three and two. I apologize to everybody. Let me get my chat up here. I apologize, folks. Three balls, two strikes, and the payoff. A swing and a drive foul. Count stays where it is at three and two. Two to one on our score. We're in the top of the second. I am sorry, everybody. Uh, we can hear thank you. Thank you. JJ's taking the day off. You don't get days off. Yeah, he needed it. He needed it. Here's a little chopper in front of a plate. Turnbull is up with it. The throw to first is in time. Two down in the inning. I'm going to get this as straight as I possibly can. That's why I'm working on stuff as we as we go along. Henry Davis now at the plate with two down and nobody on. Here in the top of the second. And, yeah, there is an exception. There's a big game tomorrow with the 76ers. Here's the pitch outside with a sweeper, ball one. JJ and I talked. I wanted to sit in for him, and he said yes. So I got this one, and I'll have the one tomorrow to end this series. Thank you all for being patient with me. You won. So we're going to high fly ball into center field. Coming on is Sosa. Going out is the second baseman, Emundo Sosa. Rojas was coming in. And that will be in will be that. I gotta fix my scorebook. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Bottom of the second, two one Philadelphia. To the bottom of the second, the pitch arsenal from Marco Gonzalez. He has a cutter, he has a four seam, he has a sweeper, among other pitches. Two runs, three hits, no errors for the Phillies. Uh, one run, one hit, no errors for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And it's Garrett Stubbs, the catcher, that will lead things off against Gonzalez. And the pitch on the way is a strike, and the count's on one with a fastball. On one, the count. I will get to your comments as we go along here. And the pitch on the way, low and outside. The count's even one and one. 
Despite a rough first inning, Turnbull has been a revelation so far this year. That he has. Stubs at 250, no home runs, no RBIs. The wine and the 1-1 pitch. Fastball strike, and the count's 1-2. and two. I wish all the Philadelphia Phillies ballplayers good luck. Let's play ball. Millions of blessings to you all. Thank you, Esther. The pitch is swung on and fouled out of play, and the count stays where it is at 1-2. and two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Like and subscribe to both channels. We both could use your support. One and two, the count. And the pitch on the way, high and tight with a fastball. And the count's even at two and two. You know what happened earlier today? I was getting ready here, looking in front of my machine. The pitch on the way is swung on and driven to first, and it's caught by Rowdy Telez, one down in the second. A soft liner to Rowdy Telez begins the bottom of the second, and Christian Pache, the eighth place hitter, will now stand in. As I said, you know what I was, you know what I was doing? I was sitting here, and I was fine, and that was about at 2 o'clock, and I uh, thought that would be a good time for me to start getting ready for this game. And I got everything ready, lineups and all. Christian Pache, with no batting average, comes in. He takes the strike, and it's on one. And you know what happened? I fell asleep. I fell dead asleep. The 0-1, low and outside, one ball, one strike. 2-1, to one, Philadelphia. We're in the bottom of the second inning. I'm trying to get the lineups up there. The pitch is a strike, and the count is now one and two. Now I got ideas since I'm playing around with OBS, and I'm thinking about subscribing to Restream. One-two pitch, swinging a bouncing ball to third. Keep Brian Hayes on the line, throws the first in time, two down in the inning. I'm thinking of subscribing to Restream. Narcolepsy, huh? Yeah, that's been that's been me the last two years. Falling asleep wherever, where almost wherever I am. I like it, but then I don't like it because I can't sleep at night. And I'm trying to solve that problem. Speaking of solve, let me solve this. Because I don't know if y'all could see me very good. The first pitch to Pache is a strike with a curveball, and the count is 0 1. Ooh, that's not good. Yo, one, bun it up the first baseline. This is trouble. Sosa with a flip, infield hit for Johan Rojas. A bunt single with two down in the inning. That was trouble from the start. There we go. It's about as good as I can get it for right now. I hope that I hope that's okay. Johan Rojas with a bunt single with two down in the bottom of the second. That's the fourth hit for Philadelphia. And to the top of the order, and Kyle Schwarber, who tied the game with one swing of the bat with a home run to center field. Harko Frawl says, let's go, Phils. Absolutely. There's a trick to displaying your chats on the screen here in OBS. I'll figure it out. A changeup begins the at-bat to Schwarber for a strike, and it's 0-1. Schwarber now batting at 232. He has three home runs, driven in six. That third home run came last inning. The lineup is now flipped over for Philadelphia, and the pitch on the way is drilled foul. And the count's 0-2. Rob Thompson lending our best hitter, sitting our best hitter again because it's a lefty starter. You got to go with your gut feeling, I think. 0-2 the count. Gonzalez is ready. The pitch. Swing at a bouncing ball. Base hit in the center field. Rounding second and headed for third is Rojas. He'll get there safely. And now two hits in the inning with two out. Puts runners at first and third. So a line out, a ground out, and then two consecutive singles have put the Phillies in business with two outs in the inning. And Schwarber is two for two.
First and third, two down in the inning to Trey Turner. The pitch to Trey is swung on and driven into deep left field. Back at the track, at the wall. Reynolds makes the catch in front of the wall. Holy mackerel. A couple of more biscuits for breakfast, and that was a three-run bomb. Hoo-wee. But the Phillies don't score. They get two hits in the inning, no errors, and they leave two. They left three after two innings. After two, Phillies two, Pirates one. We'll be back. Spencer Turnbull begins the inning with a ball, and he comes back with a strike, and the count is now one and one. To the ninth-place hitter, Alika Williams. Okay, I know I made a mistake on the, on the last scene. I'll figure out a way to correct it. Baseball boy 3642 in the house. Thank you for covering, coming aboard. RC the... Aces and Hawkeyes guy now aboard as well. There's a strike, and the count's now even at two and two. We're in the top of the third. The Phillies lead by a count of two to one. Trying to get their eighth win of the year. The pitch way outside. Good stop behind the plate by Stubbs. And the count's now full at three and two. The Pirates had an uprising in the first. They got a run but left a runner. Great stop by Stubbs behind the plate. Three and two. The payoff pitch. A swing and a high fly ball headed to right. Castellanos is racing back at the track to the wall, and he makes the catch. Right at the wall. Hang a star on that one. One down to the third. Wow. As the late, great Ed Farmer would say, hang a star on that. Mercy. Castellanos shades down. Reached up over his head and made the catch, and that'll bring off the lead, bring up the leadoff hitter, O'Neill Cruz. And the count is 0 and 1, or 1 and 1. I beg your pardon. The wind and the 1 1 pitch to Cruz is swung on and missed, and the count's now 0 and 2. O 
Owen to the count. We'll get you some scores as we go along as well. As the Pirates bat here in the top of the third. One ball, two strikes to O'Neill Cruz. The kick and the pitch outside with a sweeper. And the count's now even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, the count. One out, nobody on. Top of the third. The pitch on the way. Swing at a ground ball to first. What a stop by Harper. The toss is in time to Spencer Turnbull. Two down in the inning. Wow. 3-1 on that. Hang a star on that one, too. Two up, two down. To Brian Reynolds, the left fielder. Harper went far to his right, was able to stab it with the glove up on his feet. And Turnbull did his job and got to first in time. Here's the pitch to Reynolds. It's a strike with a sweeper in the counts on one. Reynolds doubled and scored in the first. 0-1 the count here in the Top of the third, the pitch on the way is a strike with another sweep with a fastball. I beg your pardon, and the count's 0 2. Baseball Boy 3642 has joined the chat. Thank you very much. RC on the Snowman Multimedia channel has joined. Thank you very much. The 0 2 way outside with a fastball, and the count's 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes, two down. And I'm about to crash again. I'm sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we got everything back. Whew. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Low and inside. 3-2. and two. I thought I was about to crash again. I don't know. Why is it that I, when I run OBS, I have, I have problems? I think I need another... Um, memory stick in here for a little bit more ram payoff pitch swing at a bouncer foul we'll do it again key brian hayes is next three balls two strikes two down top of the third in a 2-1 game the payoff pitch swing at a bouncer foul we'll do it again I'm thinking about getting an iced coffee. I know, although I know I shouldn't. Three and two the count. Once again, the payoff pitch and time is called. Man, we got 40 people watching. Spike the like, folks. The pitch. Swing and a foul. We'll do it again. Man, we got 40 people. Man, we got 40 people in here. Spike the like. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe to both channels. And show them both some love, will you? Show them both. Show both channels some love today. Payoff pitch. High ball four. The appeal at third. No swing. When I want a coffee after three, I have tea instead. That's what I'm going to, what that's what I'm going to be doing. Brian Reynolds is on for the second time. And thank you hardcore for that. I hope I'm doing you proud because I know you cover the Phillies. Keep Brian Hayes now up at the plate. He doubled and drove in a run. He drove in the first run of the game. Here's the pitch high and tight for the slider for ball one. Want to know the count? 286 of the average now for Key Brian Hayes. A turn and throw to first, and Harper scooped it. And that one nearly got away. 
As I said, I hope I'm doing y'all proud sitting in for JJ today. One and oh, the count from the stretch, the pitch high and tight, two and oh. Two and oh, the count with two down and a runner aboard. And the pitch on the way, high and tight with a fastball, 3-0. and uh, Baseball boy says, yes, you are. Thank you very much. I want to do you guys proud, and I want to do JJ proud as well. I'm constantly trying to get better and trying to make my own stream better. I hope you all like the set. 3-0 and the count. The wine, the kick, and the pitch. Ball four. So now two on with two out on on consecutive walks. Now Jack Sawinski heads to the plate, who popped a short his first time up, and the pitching coach is going out to the mound to have a talk with Spencer Turnbull, who has thrown 56 pitches to this point. White Sox come to Philadelphia April 19th, 20th, and 21st. I might have to snatch a couple of those games on my own channel. Baseball Boy said, I sub to you, by the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys very, very much. And if you all can, please donate to my cause to help me get on my, help me and my family get on our feet uh, via Cash App, dollar sign, tall man, Dr. K50. If you want to donate via PayPal, let me know, and I'll give you that info as well. Also, donate to JJ's channel as well and help get him going. Jack Sawinski now at the plate with two on and two out here in the top of the third. From the set, the pitch. On the outside corner, strike with a sweeper in the count zone one. So when C is 0 for 1 on the afternoon, he popped a trade Turner in the first. 2-1 Philadelphia, top of the third. The runners take their lead from first and second, and the pitch, a swing and a pop-up toward the stands, and it's out of play, and the count is 0-2. Three weight bases on balls already for Turnbull. Yeah, he only had six coming into the season, and he's, he's allowed three walks already, and that's contributed to his pitch count which now stands at 58. Oh, and to the count. Turnbull's pitch. Way inside, it gets away, and the runners will move up a base. Now you got two in scoring position, the tying and the go-ahead run on a wild pitch. And that nearly hits Sawinski. Indeed, a wild pitch is the scoring. One and two to Sawinski. You want to get out of this? Right now, the pitch. Strike three called with a sweeper. And as I say that, that happens. Two walks in the inning. They're left on base. No runs, no hits, no errors. And two men left. We go to the bottom of the third. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates one.
I'll figure out the music in a minute. We go to the bottom of the third. Marco Gonzalez is still on the mound, and the pitch to Harper is a strike, and the count's on one. Wrong side. No, oh, okay, there we go. Harper, Bohm, and Castellanos, who saved the game in the top of this inning. A one to Harper, slashed foul to the backstop, and the count's on two. Baseball boy says, I hope the Phillies win. We are all hoping for that. And they want to get back above 500. 36 pitches so far for Marco Gonzalez. The pitch on the way, high and tight, and the count is now one and two. I'm sorry for the couple of glitches I had earlier, folks. I I truly appreciate you sticking with me. Next one, high with a fastball, and the count's now even at two and two. Bryce Harper leading off the third, struck out swinging his first time up. Gonzalez is ready, and the pitch. He strikes out this time also swinging. So now Harper is 0 for 2, and there's one down in the third. Alec Bohm at the plate. He's 0 for 1 with a ground out. And he grounds one foul of third base in the count zone one. Grounded out to Key Brian Hayes at third his first time up. Folks, if you can, please help this disabled broadcaster get back in the booth. The wine in the 0 1, uh, swinging a shot foul to the backstop in the count zone two. Forty one people in, spike the like. Hit the subscribe on both channels and help the snowman out with a cash app if you would. As I mentioned, I am a disabled broadcaster trying to get back on my feet. The O2, high one and two. 90 miles an hour with a fastball. One and two, the count. The pitch, high, two and two. So we had him down two strikes, Gonzalez did. And now the count is back even. Two balls, two strikes, the count. 2-2, two, two, a swing and a foul to the right. And out of play. Count stays where it is at 2-2. Two and two. Wait, a black broadcaster calling baseball? Yes, sir, Victor. And thank you, Victor, for joining. I appreciate it. Baseball boy says, I hope you get better. Thank you. I appreciate it. The pitch, way inside, counts full three and two to Alec Bohm. As I mentioned, if anybody can to help me get back on my feet because I'm recovering from cancer as well as a toe amputation and blood clots, help me out with a cash app here so I can help my family. That's high and outside ball four. Alec Bohm is on for the first time this afternoon. First walk issued for Marco Gonzalez. And I also want to use some of the donations coming in to make a contribution to the cancer cancer community for cancer research. And I want to get some better equipment, headphones, laptop, all that stuff. Doug Fel, uh, Felker, you're doing a great job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here's a shot foul to the backstop and the count's on one. I love doing this, and I decided I'm going to make this my weapon to get back on my feet and help my family, but I need you guys to help. So subscribe to both channels and donate to both of our causes if you would. I want to do JJ Proud also. Old one to Castellanos. The pitch, swing and a miss on a changeup in the count's on two. Castellanos got a hit in the first inning his first time up. Oh and two the count. Bottom of the third. The pitch on the way, way outside. Another change up in the counts one and two. Thought he could get, make him go fishing again. Victor, I got to get you up here with me. At least one of these times I'm doing games on my channel. One, two pitch, swing and a miss. Castellanos is gone. Two down of the inning, both on strikeouts. So a strikeout by Harper, a walk to Bohm, and a strikeout by Castellanos.
And Castellanos chased two pitches way out of the strike zone, both of them change-ups. And Mundo Sosa to the plate. He struck out back in the first, swinging. Here's the pitch, swinging a pop-up. Or swinging a, uh, excuse me, swinging to drive in the center. Sawinski is under it. He makes the catch, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. The Phillies have stranded four through three innings. We're done with three. Your score is the Philadelphia Phillies two and the Pittsburgh Pirates one. You know what? I'm going to use this inning. I'm going to use this half inning, I beg your pardon, or this break to try to make this thing better because what I want to do to make this even better is uh, have the lineups up there. So I'm going to go fishing for a minute. I'm going to go fishing. Matter of fact, let me give you all some scores. They're in the top of the seventh, the Sky Dome, Blue Jays 5, Colorado 3, 2-1 San Francisco over Tampa Bay, bottom of the fourth. Texas has owned Houston so far this year. They lead them 2-0. They're in the top of the fourth there. Oakland leads uh, Washington 1-0. They're in the top of the fourth. Uh, middle of the fourth inning in Miami, it's 2-0 in favor of the Fish. Boston leads LA, leads the Angels 6 0. Baltimore leads the Milwaukee Brewers. That count is 5 to 4. And that is your scoreboard update. And that should keep everything to date as of right now. A couple more hits, and Cassidy can reach the Mendoza line. Yeah, absolutely. And as I said, he swung at he swung at a couple of pitches that were way outside in the strike zone. Well, I have to try to do my maintenance later. Would you guys be okay with the uh, the lineups being on the screen? Let me know in the comments because I have an idea and I want to act on it, but I want to be sure that it's okay with you guys. Most home runs by Japanese-born players, Shohei Otani with 175, tied with Hideki Matsui, Ichiro Suzuki with 117. We go to the top of the fourth. There's a kid getting his uh, his face stuffed with a slushy. As Turnbull works into the fourth inning and comes way inside to Bo Olivares, and the count is 1-0. and Olivares 0 for 1. He fouled out to Bryce Harper in the first. The pitch, swing a shot, base hit in the center field. So Olivares begins the top of the fourth with a base hit. There was a kind comment here, and I think it's right here. And it's from Doug Felker. He says, you're doing a great job. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate that. I really do. I really do. Rowdy Telez flew out in the first. In the second, I beg your pardon. Here's the pitch way inside for ball one. Can y'all tell me where Roddy, Rowdy Teles flew out to? That's when I had my technical difficulty and I had to sh uh, shut down and come back. 1-0 to Teles, the former Blue Jay. And the 1-0 to Teles is a strike with a sinker and the count's 1-1. One and one. Yeah, Larry, I like Ichiro. I I love I love Ichiro. Flew out to the left. Okay, thank you. And the pitch is low, two and one to Telez. Thank you, baseball boy. I appreciate it. One and the count. Nobody out. A runner at first. Telez at the plate. And the pitch swinging a pop up. Third base side. It's going into left. Here comes Pache. He falls down, gets up, makes the catch. And now they throw back to first. No one covering. There's one out in the fourth. Uh, Larry confirmed that Telez flew out to left. He's now flown out to left twice. Thank you, Larry. And thank you, baseball boy, for that confirmation. I appreciate it. 
Pache lost his footing, fell down, was able to make the catch. And Olivares had to put on the brakes quick. And he hustled back to first. So one out, one on. The pitch is a strike, and the count's on one with a slider to Connor Joe, who grounded out to first with the pitcher covering his first time up. The wind is playing tricks on everybody in Philadelphia, especially on this day. Connor Joe steps out of the batter's box. He has a home run. He's driven in 10. And I hope you all are enjoying this. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and the count's 0-2. Owen to the count. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see how you can follow JJ. He's the man that told me I could do this game for him, and I want to show him a lot of love. O2. Ooh, he did not call that pitch a strike. Counts one and two. I thought he had him. But they'll reset, and it's one ball, two strikes to Connor Joe. Henry Davis would be next. A throw to first instead. My app says 23 mile an hour wins. Yeah, I see it, but some of the things that have been flying around the field. One ball, two strikes, one down. Runner at first. In the form of Bo Olivares. The pitch. A swing and a grounder to third, to second one. Return to first. Oh, he threw it away. Connor Joe will hustle to second, and the ball's going down the line. Harper gets to it. So a force out and an error puts Connor Joe at second with two down in the inning. Mike Sports Vibe says, love your energy. Keep up, keep up the great work. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Devils and Flyers are underway. So force out 5-4. Joe is on with an error. By Amundo Sosa with a... Um, by, I beg your part. Yeah, by Amundo Sosa with a wild throw to first. Here's the pitch to Henry Davis. Low and inside with a sinker. Ball one. Do me a favor, folks. If you can, please support a snowman as he gets back on his feet and helps his family with a cash app donation. Tall man, Dr. K50, dollar sign, tall man, Dr. K50 is what you need. And the pitch way outside, 2 0. Oh. Try to sweep her that time. And that didn't work. We're in the top of the fourth. The Phillies lead 2 to 1. 40 people in. So hit the like and subscribe on both channels if you would. Give us both some push to really get going the 2-0 way outside 3-0 the sweeper again alika williams the ninth place hitter is next larry we have gus out to 31 out here flyers got select by montreal then beat the rangers can't figure that team out sure can't next one strike called three and one Tuesday on Snowman in the morning, we'll introduce our hockey god. Strike call, and the count's full three and two. Two out to Henry Davis. Uh, two strikes to Henry Davis. Three and two the count. I wouldn't want to be playing outfield today. Nope. It nearly took uh, Christian Pache out. Connor Joe at second. Two out. Three and two the count to Henry Davis. And Turnbull wasn't sure, so he stepped off the mound. I've played outfield in wins like this, Larry. It ain't fun. Three and two. The payoff pitch. Strike three call right on the corner, and Davis is a little bit perplexed with the call. But Turnbull's able to get out of the inning with no runs. One hit, one error, and one left. Phew. That was close. All right. Let me do a little let me do a little fixing. 
and see if I can get the lineups up here. Getting out of it. Yes, thank yeah, yes indeed, hardcore. Nah. Okay, click. Whoops. Oh boy. Try again. Oh, Bretta. And yes, that was a Bugs Bunny. That was an imitation Bugs Bunny voice. I can't help it. I'm 51 and I'm a goofball and I love cartoons. All right, y'all are going to see some stuff as I try to get the lineups. Where are the lineups, Dag Nabbit? Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> Dag Nabbit. All right, let me try something else. You all are watching this live as I try to get everything together here. Whoops. All right, we go to the bottom of the fourth. Garrett Stubbs will lead things off. He'll be followed by Christian Pache and Johan Rojas. Marco Gonzalez begins his fourth inning of work. I'll have to do it during the break next inning. Here's the pitch. Here's a strike with a cutter in the counts on one. You know what? I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to try it. I'll just try and do it after the inning. Here's a swing and a liner to the left and caught on the run by Brian Reynolds, and there's one out in the fourth. That would have been Christian Pache. World War II area, Bugs Bunny was the... Yeah, I love the old school. I love the old school, man. What I grew up on. Here's the pitch. It's low and, out, low and inside to Christian Pache, and the counts 1-0. Pache 0 for 1 on the afternoon. 1-0 the count. And the pitch is a curveball high. And the count's even. One ball, one strike. One ball, one, uh, two balls, no strikes. I beg your pardon. The pitch is a swing and a little looper headed toward left and down for a base hit in front of Reynolds. Fifth hit for Philadelphia. Flintstones was another, were another afraid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, all the old school. Hey, let's do this. With a four, without fourth any discussion, put your favorite cartoons in the chat. And don't and you, you don't have to limit it to just one. Johan Rojas singled, got to third, but was stranded there back in the second inning. Five hits for Philadelphia. They lead two to one. The pitch to Johan, a swing and a high fly ball into left down the third baseline. Shortstop coming in. O'Neill Cruz makes the catch. What a play. And two down in the inning to the top of the order in Kyle Schwaba. Simpsons, there you go. There you go. Yeah, let's, yeah, put your favorite cartoons, favorite for this inning, put your favorite cartoons in the chat. I'll have another subject next inning. Danny Holcomb says X-Men. All right, all right, I can dig it. Woody Woodpecker, El Cabong, Cabong, the Roadrunner. Oh, yeah. All those old school ones. A step off and a throw to first and back is, is uh, Pache. I got another subject for the fifth inning. Schwarber is two for two. A home run and a single to his credit. Wacky racers. Okay. The pitch. High and tight. Ball one. Bilbo in the house. Tom and Jerry. There you go. Speed racer. Now I got that song in my head. Darn you, Larry. Now I got to go fish out that song. The one to Schwaba. High and tight, 2-0. Oh. I watched a lot of Tom and Jerry. 
I watched a ton of Tom and Jerry. How about the Jetsons? Anybody feel anybody, anybody feeling the Jetsons? That was another one I watched a lot of. The pitch outside, 3 0 to Schwarber. I like the name Swaggins. I think Swaggins has our name of the day. 3 0 the count, fans making noise at Citizens Bank Park, and the 3 0 to Schwarber is a strike, 3 1 with a cutter. Star Blazers was early. Japanimation, yeah. Sirius Larry says, oh, yeah, Jetsons. I watched a lot of the Jetsons. I watched a lot of Flintstones, Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny. But my favorite has got to be Looney Tunes. That's my favorite. I love I love all the old school ones. I'll step off and I throw the first runner back safely. John Moyer, Foghorn Leghorn. Let me see if I can do an impression of that. Now, what's I say now? What's that boy up to? Better check on it. Yeah. Schwarber back in the box, three and one the count. A runner at first and two down in the inning. And the three one pitch outside, ball four. That'll put two runners aboard. Of course, like I said, my character is Bugs Bunny. What's up, Jack? I hope I did that voice justice. That's why I love Mel Blank. Trey Turner doubled in the first and a run scored. That was the leading run, and that's the difference in the game so far, and that is inside, ball one. Pache at second, Schwarber at first, two down. Bottom of the fourth inning. What's the gag? I say, what's the gag, son? Gag, that is. Next one, swinging a fly ball into center field. Coming on is Sawinski, and he makes the left, the right, the left-handed catch. And the inning is over. It is a right-handed catch. I'm sorry. Jeez, I'm out of practice. I need to do more of these. No runs, one hit, no errors, two left. The Phillies have left six. And we go to the fifth. It's Philadelphia 2 and Pittsburgh 1. Now I'm going to get this doggone scoreboard. I'm, deter- I'm determined to get this scoreboard up. I'm de- I got the scoreboard. I want to get the uh, uh, lineups. Let me see if this works. Yeah, Yosemite Sam. The roughest, toughest, he-man, stuffest hombre that's ever crossed the real grandy. And I don't mean Mahatma Gandhi. Now, all you skunks, clear out of here. I can't do that voice very well. Because it, it has to be really rough. It has to be really gruff, and that puts a strain on my voice. I don't know how Mel Blank did it. I can do all the voices well. I can't get Yosemite Sam's. Whoops. Doggone it. Hold on a minute. There's my problem right there. You all are seeing this live. I'm messing around here. I want the lineups. Dang it. Okay. Uh, Doggone it. There's a way to get the lineups, aren't they? Ah, the heck with it. I'll me- I'll I'll mess with it. You know what? The heck with it. Here, do this. Nah. Oh yeah, do this. You're out of here. And I'm messing with this as we go along here. We go to the top of the fifth. Dag nabbit. Two to one our score. All right, there are the lineups. But I want them as they as they change. JJ's hacking you. Here's the pitch way outside. Or in there for a strike. I beg your pardon. The count is 0 and 1. 0 and 1 is your count. To the ninth place hitter, Alika Williams. The pitch is a strike, and the count's 0 and 2.
Why do you think I took off today? Because I told him to. You reminded me of the old Jackson 5 cartoon. Yeah. Here's a ground ball up the middle and base it in the center field. So, again, the Pirates get a leadoff hit. Scooby-Doo, He-Man. My wife bought me a Scooby-Doo shirt. I'll wear it one day when I'm on the air. He-Man, She-Ra. She-Ra was like, when I was living at home in Chicago, She-Ra came on at like 4 o'clock, and that was usually homework time. The prime cartoons, Mighty Mouse, Bugs Bunny, Heckle and Jekyll, they all came on before 4 o'clock. They came on before 4 o'clock. Here's O'Neill Cruz. 0 for 2 on the day, a strikeout called and a ground out. Here's the pitch to Cruz. It's low and inside for ball one. All right. Here's my subject for the fifth inning as I mess around here. Got the lineups. Got the line score. You know what? I'm ah. Here, let me do this. I think I, I think I know how to do it. Here's the pitch. It's a ball, and it's 2-0 and oh to Cruz. Um, Snowman is hacking me. I'm not hacking anybody. Yet. 2-0 to Cruz. Swinging a high fly ball down the left field line, and that ball is gone! Oh, my! O'Neal Cruz strikes! With a two-run homer here in the fifth, and the Pirates have grabbed the lead three to two. Wow. Sneaky power from O'Neill Cruz. Man, oh man. The opposite, he went the opposite way. And up O Dinger. Yikes. Now the Pirates are up three to two. Two hits in the inning. That's how the first inning started. Pirates now lead three two with nobody out here in the fifth, and the pitch is low and inside for ball one, and Turnbull may be running out of gas. He's thrown 83 pitches to this point as he works to Brian Reynolds. He has singled and walked. From the windup, here's the 1 0 pitch. Inside, and it's 2-0 and with a sweeper. Wind-aided? I would think so. I, I think so. I think it was wind-aided because it looked like it was going to twist foul. The wind and the 2-0 pitch. Strike right down the down the middle, and it's 2-1 and one with a fastball. This might be Turnbull's last inning. I would guess that. I would guess this, this would be Turnbull's last inning. 2-1. The wine and the 2 1 pitch right down the middle for a strike, and it's 2 and 2. Two balls, two strikes. Turnbull back on the rubber after stepping off. 2 and 2. The windup and the 2 2 pitch is outside with a four seam fastball. And the count's now full at three and two. Pirates have two runs here in the fifth, a single and a home run. Second home run of the day, second home run of the game combined by both teams. The payoff pitch to Reynolds is inside ball four, and that's four walks issued by Spencer Turnbull. And I think this will constitute a pitching change. He's thrown 88 pitches to this juncture. He has not retired a man in the fifth, and he's making the call to the bullpen. So Spencer Turnbull's day will come to an end. Thompson will take the ball from him, and we got a pitching change. And in a minute and five, we'll let you know who the pitcher is. Meanwhile, I'm going to do more playing around. And y'all are going to see it live. Let's have some fun, shall we? All right. Here's what I want y'all to put in the chat next. Your favorite ballpark and your favorite ballpark snack food. 
I got a couple of thoughts on that. There we go. Matt Stram is uh, coming into the game. Yep, that he is. No. No. There we go. I'm totally doing this on the fly, folks. No, not that. Now, if I can just get the lineups, is JJ all good? Yeah, he is. He just needed a day off, and I pledged to sit in for him. He'll be back tomorrow with the Sixers having a big, big game coming up. 3-4-0 for the Pirates, 2 6 and 0 for the Phillies. Matt Strom is coming in. Seriously, Larry says Veteran Stadium and Schmidt's beer. We got a beer sighting here. Strom is on for the seventh time with a 1-0 record. 3.18 ERA. He's thrown five and two-thirds innings. He will work to keep Brian Hayes. The pitch is swung on and hitting the right. Castellanos giving chase into the sun. He's got it. One down in the inning. With one out and Reynolds at first, that'll bring Jack Sawinski to the plate. Pirates three, Phillies two in the bottom of the fifth. I might need a day off and if our bats don't heat up. Here's a strike and the counts now counts on one to Jack Sawinski. <laughs> May need a day off if our bats don't heat up. Well, my team is taking it on the chin again, and I'm a White Sox fan but we are getting beat up this year. The 0-1 slashed foul out of play to the left, and the count's 0-2. They're getting beat up by the Reds right now. The current score I saw was 5 to nothing. But what I plan to do is cover a few more teams, and it's over on the south side. We lose 5 to nothing. I'll step off and throw to first by Schwam, by Schram, uh, Stram. Doggone it. I cannot say a name to save my life today. I'm sorry. The pitch. Swing a liner foul. We'll do it again. Yeah, it's a tough time to be a Sox fan. I'm hoping that this rebuild is only going to cost us two years instead of me projected, instead of the projected four that I see. This is going to cost us four years. It'll put, this has put us back four years. 0-2 the count. Stram looks, kicks, deals. A swing and a foul tip. And we'll do it again. The runner at first is Turnbull's responsibility. He has pitched four plus innings. Tech Stram pitching. Shut up, Larry. <laughs> I misspeak and Jerry's and, and Larry zaps me. You see, I just misspoke again. Runner goes and it's fouled away. No, it's not. It's off the glove of the catcher Stubbs, and that's a stolen base for Brian Reynolds. Now he's in scoring position, and there's one out in the fifth. How about uh, y'all? Have y'all visited any other stadiums? What's your favorite stadium food? N is the pitch? It's outside for ball one with a fastball to Jack Sawinski. Bo Olivares would be next. The Pirates have an uprising here. They got one out, two runs in on a home run by O'Neill Cruz. Next one, line foul up the first base line. And the count's now even at one and one. 
Hey, folks, check out Snowman in the morning as we move to our new time of 8 a.m. Eastern. Some great sports talk with me, the big dog Shane Lake, and Victor Locke. And it's going to be a blast. We hope you join us. Two and two. Stram fires. Pop foul out of play to the left. We'll do it again. Two balls, two strikes, one out, one on, two in. Top of the fifth. The 2-2 pitch. A curveball. Did he swing? The answer is no. Oh, I take that back. Yes, he did. They called him out. They called him out. So that's a swinging strikeout for Jackson Winsky, who's now 0 for 3 on the day. And so Winsky not pleased with the call. So now two out and a runner aboard to Bo Olivares. The pitch is a strike in the council on one. Throwing nothing but fastball here. Fastballs here. I like the ice cream and the mini batting helmets. I like that too. The last time I went to New Comiskey Park, I can't call it what it is now. 0 and 1. And the pitch high with a fastball. And the counts now, even at one and one, two runs home here in the fifth on a two run homer by O'Neill Cruz and the Pirates have grabbed a three to two lead. One ball, one strike. And the pitch swinging a foul and the counts one and two. You know what I liked when I went to the ballpark? I used to go often. I did. I used to go often. You know what I like living in Chicago? Pizza. And I promised my wife this summer I would feed her some Giordano's pizza. I plan to live out that promise. One and two, the count. The pitch. Swinging a high pop foul out of play. We'll do it again. How about y'all? What's your favorite pizza? Yeah, let's do that. What's your favorite pizza? One and two, the count. Top of the fifth. Bo Olivares at the plate. Rowdy Telez would be next. The one-two pitch on the way. Swinging a foul. We'll do it again. Two out. Brian Reynolds at second in scoring position. Count stays where it is at one and two. As a Phils fan, I'm obligated to say cheese steaks. Yeah, I, I had one of those. Hardcore Frost is Sicilian pizza. I think I had that. One and two. The pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and the inning is over. So Matt Strom comes in, strikes out a pair, and he takes care of the inning. But the Pirates get two runs on two hits, no errors, and they leave one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. I'm going to play around with OBS again. Three, two Pirates. Keep posting your favorite foods let's just talk food what's your favorite food you know what i got a sausage and pepperoni and thin crust okay you know what i got an argument we can settle bottom the the argument in the bottom of the fit goes like this pancakes or waffles how about that how about that let's do that my wife loves pan my wife loves both but she loves when i make her pancakes and I just might do that tomorrow. I just might do that tomorrow morning. I just might have to buckle up and make my wife some pancakes. Here, let's try this. Let's try this. I'm trying some stuff as I go along, and you all are coming along with me. Waffles, 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 doggone it. The little squares hold the syrup. I like pancakes. I like pan. I like pancakes. I mean, I love them both, but if I got to pick one, it's pancakes. All 
All right, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and I got to quit playing around here. Hardcore for all says waffles. So we got two votes for waffles. What about y'all? What do you think? Pancakes or waffles? I'll make the lone vote for pancakes. All right, here's Bryce Harper to lead off the fifth, and he slashes one foul down the left field line. Right side's wrong shape. It's 0-1. Harper has struck out twice, both swinging. I like it either if I have the fruity syrups at IHOP. Okay, I like either. There you go. The 0-1 to Harper outside with a fastball, and the count's now even. One ball, one strike. Gonzalez has thrown 66 pitches to this point, and he has a 3-2 lead. The wind and the 1-1 to Harper is slashed down the right field. Let's ground it to first, I beg your pardon. Flip to Gonzalez, to Les, to Gonzalez, lefty to lefty, and there's one out in the fifth. Follow JJ on all of his socials via Linktree. Don't forget to like and subscribe to his channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also, as I'll be on tomorrow for the final game of this four-game series. The Phillies' bats are struggling, and that's saying the least about it. Alec Bohm to the plate, and the pitch is right there for a strike on the corner, and the count's on one. Bohm on the day, 0 for 1 with a walk. Here's the pitch. High, and the count's one and one. Twinberry, blueberry, boysenberry. I could eat it on cardboard. Oh, Lord. We have a syrup sighting. One, one. Outside, two and one. I love pancakes. I mean, I love them both. Like I said, I love them both. But I love pancakes, man. Here's the two, one. Fastball strike, and it's two and two. Three two Pirates, we're in the bottom of the fifth. And the two two right way inside, and the count's full three and two. All right, how about this one, folks? Hot dogs or hamburgers? Which one do y'all pick? The payoff pitch. Swing at a grounder foul. We'll do it again. And that got a piece of the umpire's mask, the home plate umpire's mask. I hope he's all right. I've been an umpire, and I've been a home plate umpire. That ain't easy. Larry says cheeseburgers. Okay, I can take that. Payoff pitch, swinging a high fly ball down the right field line to Les giving chase, and he's got it. Two down in the inning. Wow. So a foul out by Alec Bohm makes a mo for two on the day. And here's Nick Castellanos, who made the defensive play of the... Oh, it's uh, Tellez, is, Tellez made the defensive play of the game with a backhanded catch. So to him and Nick Castellanos, hang a star on that one. The first pitch to Castellanos is fouled away. And the count's on one. Elder Ute says waffles. Danny Holcomb says cheeseburgers with extra pickles. Okay. Me, I like both, especially when my son's over here and we're grilling it. The 01 is a strike and it's 0 2. I have a trivia question for you all at the top of the sixth inning. Here's the 0-2 foul to the backstop, and the count stays where it is at 0-2. Two down, nobody on. Bottom of the fifth, Pirates three, Phillies two. Gonzalez has thrown 13 pitches this inning, 77 total. The windup, here it comes. Swinging a drive toward left. Going back is Reynolds at the track, and he makes the catch. And Castellanos reached out to get that one. Phillies go quietly, one, two, three, in the bottom of the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. And after five, Pirates three, Phillies two. This chat has good taste. Thank you, Larry. All right, let's have some fun here. I want those lineups, Dagnabbit. 
And I'll have to go to another source to get it. Don't mind me. This is me having fun. Okay. There. Aha. That's what I need right here. Now let's see if I get lucky. So they have that on the left side of the screen. I just might get it. I just might get it. I'm married to a retired chef. Need I say everything my wife makes is awesome. She is making donuts right now. Man, I want some donuts. I might have to run and get some. <laughs> my wife says, me too. All right. Donuts for a treat after the game. Donuts for a treat, maybe a muffin after the ball game. We'll have some sweet treats after we'll have some sweet treats after the game. All right, we head to the top of the six. Three, four, and zero oh for the Pirates, two, six, and one for the Philadelphia Phillies. And I'm sorry I'll see a blank screen right now, but I'm working to try to get the lineups in here. Rowdy Telez will lead things off. Telez, Connor Joe, and Henry Davis. Here in the top of the six. Here's the pitch to Telez. Grounded foul, and the count's on one. Oh, are you kidding me? Elder U says hot dogs with everything. My mother-in-law is the best chef I've ever met. That award I give to my wife. Nope, that's not going to work. All right, I'll mess with it after the game. 0-1 the count. Here's a strike, and the count's 0-2. So now I'm getting donuts after the ball game. What do y'all think of apple fritters? I know I keep talking about food, but what do y'all think of apple fritters? Anybody like them? The pitch outside, 1-2. and two. Here, we, here we go. What's your favorite kind of donut since I'm going to go get some after the ball game? John Moyer says, 47 years later, she found out I can cook. Here's a foul out of play by Telez. Count stays where it is at one and two. Don't think I've ever tried them. Mm. Okay. Well, if y'all can make a contribution now to the donut fund at Tom at dollar sign tall man, Dr. K50 via cash app, I'd appreciate it. One and two, the count. The pitch. Outside. And the count is now even at two and two. Blueberry glazed. Okay. Don't think of it. He's referring to the apple fritters. Okay. Yep, I'm getting donuts after the game. I'm getting donuts after the game. I already know it. Or, or I may get a double chocolate muffin. 2-2 two, two pitch. Low and inside. 3-2. and two. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm going to get a couple of donuts and a couple of chocolate muffins. Two for today and two for tomorrow. Why not? Or I might get some cookies. I don't know. She's payoff pitch. Strike three call. Telez is gone. Not happy with that strike call. One out in the sixth. Ooh, he got a weight. That just nipped the corner on a fastball. Here's Connor Joe to the plate. Here's the pitch. Swinging a pop foul out of play to the right, and the count's on one. Do you think Spencer Turnbull can make... What? Repeat your question, Alex. I didn't understand it. Hello from Megan Ficadora. Where's Joseph? He is off today. I am sitting in for him. That pitch is upstairs. It counts even one and one. And I'm also going to sit in for him tomorrow. 
powdered chocolate cream. Fi- Stop it, John. Another one of the list I have to try. One one pitch is high. Two and one. I I started all this. I started all this talking about food. Connor Joe is zero for two. He grounded out and grounded into a fielder's choice. One out in the six. Three two Pirates. The pitch on the way. Swing and a grounder foul. And the count's now even at two and two. Become a member of the Discord and join the voice chat if you want to voice your if you want your voice to be heard when JJ hosts the Sixers podcast. I tell you what, that kid has given this old dog a ton of ideas for next season. A ton. Two two pitch. Swinging a pop up foul out of play. We'll do it again. Y'all are making this chat fun, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys so very much. Two balls, two strikes. One out, top of the six. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Connor Joe strikes out. Two down in the six. Back-to-back strikeouts for Schramm. He has struck out four in a row. Final line for Turnbull, he went five, gave up three runs on six hits. He walked three, struck out three, and allowed a home run. That was to O'Neill Cruz. Now here's Henry Davis. The pitch, swing, and a miss, and the count's on one. All right, I won't play around with OBS anymore, at least not until I'm off the air. The newest pot, the newest episode of Diary of a Mad Snowman comes your way tonight. And it gets regulated after that. A strike called right down the middle, and the count is 0-2. Need 5Ks for a parlay. Okay. Gregory Soto is throwing in the Phillies bullpen. The 0-2. High 1-2. and two. Nearly got your wish. There's still time to get it. 0 and 2 is 0 for 2 is Henry Davis. A pop out and a strikeout. Larry's hoping for a strikeout here. One ball, two strikes, two down. Top of the six. Nobody on. 3 2 Pittsburgh. Time called at the plate. Home plate umpire needed a few seconds. One and two, the count. And the one, two, high, two and two. Man, the wind is whipping around Citizens Bank Park because there's a lot of hot dog wrappers that are getting blown around the stadium behind home plate in front of the pitcher's mound everywhere. Two and two, two out, top of the sixth. Strom is ready. Come set and the pitch. High, the count goes full three and two. Three and two, the count. Strom comes set. The payoff pitch. A swing and a foul to the backstop. We'll do it again. Three and two the count. Strom in relief of Turnbull, who gave up a two-run home run in the fifth. And that's why the Phillies are trailing right now, three to two. The seventh pitch of this at bat is coming. And that is strike three called. So Strom strikes out the side. He has struck out five in a row. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. We go to the bottom of the six. The Phillies have some work to do. They trail by a count of three to two. And we'll be back.
All right, here we go. Bottom of the sixth inning. Phillies trail three to two, and they'll have six, seven, and eight coming up. Sosa, Stubbs, and Pache. There's a Pittsburgh Pirate proud grandpa with his little great with his little youngin. Go to the bottom of the sixth. Marco Gonzalez is still dealing, folks. Uh oh. There we go. Phew. Here's the pitch. Inside corner. Strike and the count's on one. Mundo Sosa is 0 for 2. A strikeout and a flyout. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss and the count's on two. Three runs, four hits, no errors for the three runs, five hits, no errors for the Pirates. Two runs, six hits, no errors for the Philadelphia Phillies. Double barrel action in the Pirates bullpen. Yes, indeed. Larry Strom is dealing. Next one. Swing a grounder headed to short. O'Neill Cruz with the gun, and he got him. One down in the sixth. Marco Gonzalez is dealing also. And I bring up Garrett Stubbs to the plate, and he smacks one to short. O'Neal Cruz once again with the gun, and he got him two down in the inning. Ay, ay, ay. Marco Gonzalez has settled down. But you have to wonder if this will be the last inning that we see Marco Gonzalez. I want to visit Citizens Bank Park on my stadium tour. That's a pitch outside for ball one. One and another count, two down, and the pitch on the way is high and wide, and it's two and oh. Kristen Pache is one for two, grounded to third in the second, and smacked a single in the fourth. The 2 0 pitch on the way is outside, three and oh. Bills have to stop floundering. This is not a good team right now offensively. No, they're, they have been silenced by Gonzalez. 3-0 pitch is a strike, 3-1. and one. You know, as, what I've seen from the Phillies so far this year, and I watch a lot of baseball, inconsistency. It's been that way the last three years at the start of the season. 3-1 pitch, low, ball four, and it gets away. And Pache takes off. He will not make the turn. He's aboard with a walk and two down in the inning. Let's see if the Phillies can turn the lineup over to Kyle Schwarber. So Gonzalez heads back to the mound, and Johan Rojas steps in. Gonzalez is set. And the pitch. Is a strike and it's on one. They wait till June to start hitting. Yeah, it seems that way. It's been that way a few years. John Moyer says need some hits. Absolutely. Yo one to Rojas swinging a miss and the count's on two on a changeup. Jenkins Gaming says, let's go, Bucks. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, and two, the count. The pitch on the way, swing and a miss, and the inning is over. So after the tying run reaches with a walk, Phillies get nothing. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. They have left seven through six innings. We go to the top of the seventh. It is Pirates three and the Phillies two.
to the bottom of this to the top of the seventh we go. I beg your pardon. Three two in favor of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I want y'all to let me know how am I doing? I'm sitting in for I'm sitting in for JJ and I'm trying to make this as fun as possible, as fun as he does. How am I doing? And that's playing with the set and everything. Because I'm doing this again tomorrow and I want to do an even better job. So y'all let me know in the chat how I'm how am I how am I doing? Is there anything I can improve on? to make this uh, better and more interactive for you. Gregory Soto now on to pitch. As Strom pitches two innings, strikes out five. And does not allow a hit or a walk or anything. And Soto begins with a pitch way outside for ball one. Jenkins Gaming, I remember in the days Pirates and Phillies in the, were in the same division. Yeah, I miss those. I can't watch the game, so it's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss, and the count is even at one and one. If you like what you're, you don't have to answer, but if the Sixers have to play in the tournament, can you fill in for me on Tuesday? You're on. I believe I'm blank Tuesday. Let me make sure that pitch is outside. Oh, do they appeal it first? No, it's a swing and a miss. I misread the, I miss, I misread the question. Next one, outside, three and one. Soto's thrown nothing but fastballs here to start the seventh inning. Congrats to the Dallas Stars. They have clinched the Central Division for the second straight year. And here it comes, outside, ball four. So Soto begins the seventh inning with a walk to Alika Williams. I hated the Pirates in the 70s. I think a lot of people hated the Pirates in the 70s. Here comes O'Neal Cruz, and Cruz is the reason the Pirates are ahead right now with a two-run homer to left. He is one for three. Lefty to lefty. Soto is ready. Here she comes. A swing and a bouncer foul off the plate, and I got a piece of the umpire. And the count's on one. Seriously, Larry says you're doing great. Thank you. I better see you this active in the Sixers chat tomorrow. <laughs> JJ, what time is the Sixers game tomorrow? Because I think I'm filling in for you again tomorrow. And I want to mess around with some stuff while I get my wife some donuts. Yep, I started a donut chat here. 0-1 oh the count. The pitch on the way. Low, 1-1 one one with a sinker. A sinker at 99. You're at, uh, he's at one. I'm at 135. Okay. I need to finalize some stuff with JJ after the game. One ball, one strike. Top of the seventh, a runner aboard, nobody out. And time is called as they'll have a chat on the mound. Tomorrow, I think I'm due for a nap. Who, with him or with me? On him or on me, I should say. <laughs> Man, Larry's messing with everybody. I know he messes with me whenever I do a live stream. But I will be sitting in for JJ tomorrow at 1.30. I'll go up at 1.25 with the lineups. I'll go at 1.25 with the pregame. 1.30, I have the lineups, and 1.35 will deliver the first pitch. Soto is ready. The one one to Cruz is a strike, and the count's one and two with a sink a sinker at 101. What? Gregory Soto just threw a sinker at 101 miles per hour. What? One ball, two strikes to O'Neill Cruz. Like I said. He threw a sinker at 101. What? Ah, pitch clock, uh, mechanical problems. Why do they have a pitch clock anyway? Did I miss something? I know they want to shorten the game, man. But were you throwing it? Yeah. I think it was throwing that one. Quick post game after the after the game. And then 
I got to go on a sugar run. One, two pitch low and it's two and two through a slider at 88. He threw a sinker at 101 miles an hour. What? I still can't get over that. I still can't get over that, man. That's crazy. Man, when I was when I was playing when I was playing baseball, we had three pitches. Fastball, curveball, changeup. That's it. Okay. Now they're gonna switch uh devices. Yeah, JJ's right. You uh how fast you pitch is nice, but where are you throwing it? I think Larry is napping now. Man, Larry need Larry needs a sugar rush. I'll say it again. He threw a sinker at 101. What? He threw a sinker at 101. I can't get I can't get over that. Yeah, Gaylord Perry was famous for the spitball. Gaylord Perry was so famous with that spitball, man. Gregory Soto threw a sinker at 101. What? I can't get over that. I cannot get over that. They're fixing devices so there's no a pitch clock violation. They're in the second period. Flyers and Devils are scoreless. For those of you watching via Snowman Multimedia, if this is your first time, my name is Brian Snow. I'm sitting in for Jason Joseph. This is Phillies Baseball on Play by Play with JJ and Snowman Multimedia. Two and two. The pitch. Bouncer to short to second one. Return to Harper. Two, a double play. Four, six, three on that double play. And quickly, two out in the inning. Great job by Sosa, ranging to his left to get to it. Perfect throw to Turner and the return to get the speedy cruise. Two out to Brian Reynolds here in the top of the seventh inning. Pirates three, Phillies two. Ryan Reynolds has walked three times. He has a run and a stolen base. A pitch, swing and a miss, and the count's on one. A slider at 88. My wife's homemade donuts are cinnamon. Oh, Elder, you stop it. Now I want some cinnamon donuts. Dag nabbit. I want some cinnamon rolls now. Dag nabbit. The 0 1 outside. One ball, one strike to Brian Reynolds. A slider at 88. Now I want some. Now I want some. I want some food. Here's the pitch. Low, and it's two and one. And thank you, JJ, for posting my link in the chat. Help a snowman out by going to subscribe to my channel. And if you can, help a snowman out with a cash app donation to dollar sign tall man Dr. K50 as I work to get back on my feet using this and to help my family. 2 1 pitch it is outside, 3 and 1. A sinker at 90. How do you throw a sinker at 97? How do you throw a sinker at 97? What? 3 1. A swing and a slash foul. And it's 3 and 2. And he threw that at 98. You're talking to. These pitchers have evolved since I played. How the hell you throw a sinker at 98? What? That's why they got him. 3 and 2. To Brian Reynolds. Gregory Soto trying to get out of this inning unscathed. He comes set, and the payoff pitch, a swing and a bouncer off Soto and into center field for a base hit. And as I say that, that happens. Dag nabbit. So a runner aboard and the former Brian Reynolds with two out, and here's key Brian Hayes. I 
I st- he threw a sinker at one on one. What? Thanks, JJ. Appreciate it. He Brian Hayes is one for two, a double, a walk, and a run batted in. That came in the first. Here's the pitch. It's upstairs, and it's off the glove and headed to second is Reynolds. And that's ball one. Now, I think they're going to rule this a passed ball because that was off the glove. So a pass ball gets Reynolds to, Reynolds to second. Want to know to keep Brian Hayes, a turn and no throw towards second. I thought you couldn't do that anymore. Unless you do that going to third base, trying to go third to first. I think that's I think that's it. I think that's the rule. You can't fake it out anymore. Here's a pop foul out of play. A sinker at 99. What? A sinker at 99. What? Mod Squad, be sure to tell people to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. Here's the 1-1. A swing and a pop-up. On the infield, going out is Sosa. Lip at the grass, into the shallow right field. He makes the catch, and the inning is over. Phew! That was close. A double play helped things out. Time to stretch. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The Phillies still with some work to do. They trail 3-2. to two. As I work on another technical difficulty here. I appreciate you guys listening to me today. 3-2 Pirates back after this. Bottom of the seventh inning as the Pirates lead this game three to two, and they too go to the bullpen. Marco Gonzalez, final set line, goes six innings. He gives up two runs on six hits. And now we're ready to go back to work in the bottom of the seventh. 3 5 and 0 for the Pirates, 2 6 and 1 for the Phillies. And Araldus Chapman making his eighth appearance. He has a save. He's pitched five innings, walked three, struck out nine. Boy, his career is falling off track, although he does have a World Series title. Chapman delivers. Well, outside, ball one with a fastball. Schwarber, two for two, a home run and a single. Plus a walk. Alvarado now in the Phillies bullpen. 1 0 the count. And the pitch to Schwarber is low, 2 0 with a slider. It's 
Schwarber, as I mentioned, two for two on the day. Here's the pitch. Low, 3-0. and Now, can the Phillies start a rally? Danny Holcomb says, get some hits, Phillies. Absolutely. Let's see if the Phillies can pull this one out. Trailing 3-2 here in the bottom of the seventh inning. 3-0 and the count. Chapman delivers. A strike, and it's 3-1 and with a fastball. I might put the game here in front of me and move OBS over there uh, tomorrow. Schwarber, as I mentioned, two for two with a walk. He has a home. He has a home run and a single. Three one is low. They appeal at third, and no swing. And Schwarber walks for the second time. The tying run is bored. And to bring Trey Turner to the plate. And Trey Turner is due. Here's the pitch. Low, ball one. Turner walked and scored. He has since been 0 for 2 with a line out to left and a line out to center. The 1 0 to Trey is high. 2 and 0. A fastball at 96. Two balls, no strikes. Nobody out. Schwarber at first, representing the tying run. Next one is low, 3-0. and And that pitch gets away, and Schwarber will head to second base. Now he's in scoring position. Now's the time for the Phillies to capitalize and make this a big inning. Because there's nobody out. You have the tying run at second base. And a chance to do some damage. Believe the ruling on that will be a passed ball. Believe that's going to be a passed ball. Three and zero to Trey Turner. Schwarber at second. Schwarber waits. So does Turner. And the three zero pitch is a strike, and it's three and one. Turner's an automatic out. Let's hope that's not the case this time. Activity now in the Pirates bullpen. Three and one the count. And the three one pitch. A swing and a pop up foul, and the count's full three and two. Three and two the count. Chapman sets, looks at Schwarber, and now comes home. A swing and a bouncing ball to third. Up with it, Hayes. Tossed to first is in time. Schwarber moves into third. And there's one out with the tying run 90 feet away. 5-3 on that, on that sacrifice. Schwarber took off for third. He gets there with room to spare. And Key Brian Hayes throws out Trey Turner. And now Bryce Harper is to the plate. He's overdue. He's 0 for 3. Oh, Schwarber took off on his own accord. Okay. Now Bryce Harper stands in. 0 for 3 on the day. Against Chapman, he's 1 for 6. He has struck out four times. Tying run at third. One out. Bottom of the seventh. And the pitch to Harper, way outside, ball one. One and oh, the count. The pitch on the way, high, and it gets away. Schwarber's coming, and he'll retreat back to third as the ball bounced back to the catcher. But it's 2-0 to Bryce Harper.
That was indeed a wild pitch, but it bounced right back to Davis, and Chapman was covering. Two and zero to Harper. Schwarber at third, one out. Next one, swing and a miss, two and one. As mentioned, Harper has struck out four times. Facing a Raldis Chapman. Two and one, the count. The pitch is low, three and one. Three and one, the count to Bryce Harper. Chapman set, and the three-one pitch is low and outside ball four. That'll put runners at the corners. Harper is on for the first time today, and now Alec Bohm comes to the plate. Bohm on the day is zero for two with a walk. Nick Castellanos would be next, but you have the double play in order also, and that'll bring the pitching coach out to have a chat with Chapman. We're in the bottom of the seventh. The Pirates lead the Phillies by a count of three to two. Taking a look at the Philly Fanatic. Oh, boy. (laughs) Got to get a run here. Absolutely. I was laughing at a message I was looking at from a friend of mine. Our hockey god, Shane Creighton, will join us on Tuesday's Snowman in the Morning. All right. Two on, one out. Bottom of the seventh. Three-two Pirates, but the Phillies have the tying run at third. Here's the pitch. A swing and a liner. Base hit in his left field. That'll bring home Schwarber. And he's tied the and we have tied the game at three. Alec Boehm comes through with a run scoring single. Harper races to second. And it's a 3-3 game in the bottom of the seventh. Can't swing at bad pitches. Absolutely right. And Chapman. Threw on through a curveball and Bohm was waiting for it. Alec Bohm again comes through to get the tying run home. Now you have the go ahead run in scoring position with one out and Nick Castellanos at the plate. And the question is will this be it for Chapman? The answer is yes. Now, y'all are going to see a screen you're not going to, you're not supposed to see until the end of the game, but I got to get something in place. We got a minute and five break. We'll be back and tell you the new picture after this.
Colin Holderman is your new pitcher. You may not see my face yet, but there we go, right there. And Nick Castellanos at the plate with a go-ahead run, standing at second base, insurance run at first. The run at second is Harper. The runner at first is Alec Bohm, who came through with a run-scoring single. And a loss at the end again. All right, back to work. Holderman, the right-hander, facing the right-handed hitting Castellano. Breaking ball is swung on and fouled out of play for strike one. Victor Locks says the layout is beautiful. Thank you, Victor. Trying to do my best. Oh, and one the count. The pitch on the way. Strike call to the outside corner. The count's 0 and 2. Armundo Sosa would be next. I like this layout better. I like this. I, I like this layout better. Now I just have to customize it for every sport that I cover. 0-2 to Nick Castellanos. He has struck out earlier in the game. That came in the first. The 0-2 and a bounce it foul at the plate. We'll do it again. Castellanos singled in the first. A run scoring single, then struck out in the third, flew out in the fifth. He bats him in the seventh with the go ahead run, standing at second base. I incorrectly said Castellano struck out in the first. I was wrong, and I apologize. Colin Holderman, the hard throwing right hander, in for the Pirates in place of Araldus Chapman, who gave up the game tying run, and the two runners on base are Chapman's responsibility. The pitch outside, it's one and two. And thank you, Victor, for the vote of confidence. He says the layout is beautiful. Thank you. Castellano, seventh inning or later, is batting 211 this year. Here it comes. Swing and a foul. We'll do it again. One ball, two strikes as Harper takes his lead from second. And the one, two to Castellanos, swing and a miss, and the count, and that's that. Two down in the inning. Castellanos strikes out for the second time. He's now one for four. And Amundo Sosa comes to the plate, but I stand corrected. It's Bryson Stott that will pinch hit for Sosa. So stop will come in, and he will pinch it for Emundo Sosa. And I'm willing to guess that he'll. I'm willing to take a guess that stop will come in for Sosa defensively in the eighth inning. Three three tie, bottom of the seventh inning. A career 250 pinch hitter is Bryson Stott. He bats here with two on and two out. The pitch, low and inside, ball one. A sinker at 98. Rob is desperate. It seems like hardcore. It seems that way. Fans are up in Philadelphia. Here's the pitch. Inside corner strike with a sweeper, and the count's now even at one and one. Tie game, 3-3, bottom of the seventh inning. One and one, the count. And the pitch is low. They appeal at third, no swing, two and one to Bryson Stott. Stott batting for Emundo Sosa, so Sosa's day ends 0 for 3 with a strikeout that came at the end of the first inning. Two and one, the count. The pitch to the lefty is swung on and popped in the left. Coming on is Reynolds. In this uh, Swinski, he makes the catch, and the inning is over. But the Phillies 
can't get that big inning going. They do get a run on two hits, no errors, and they leave a pair. The Phillies have left nine through seven. We go to the top of the eighth inning. It's the Phillies three and the Pirates three. Back in a minute. All right, we have a pitching change to begin the eighth as Jose Alvarado is now on the pitch. Bryson Stott takes over for Mundo Sosa at second base. So Alvarado, the lefty, comes in. He'll face off against Sawinski, Olivares, and then Telez. So two of the three hitters are lefties. Here's the pitch. Strike called. And it's 0-1. Kenneth Clark in the house. Hey, my friend, how's everyone doing? I'm doing good tonight. We're doing good here. We are doing good, Kenneth. Good to see you. The 0 1. Swing, f- swing and a miss. I beg your pardon. And the count's 0 2. You can't leave nine runners on base. That's what Philadelphia has done, and that's why they are in a tie game and not leading. The 0 2 to Jack. Swing and a shot. Caught by Bryson Stott. One down in the eighth. Good play by Bryson Stott. One up, one down in the eighth inning. There's Bo Olivares, who is one for three. He singled back in the fourth inning. And then was wiped out on a on a force out. That pitch is inside for ball one. One and oh the count. We're in the top of the eighth. Pirates three, Phillies three. Wine in the 1 0. Swing and a smash off the glove of Trey Turner. He's able to catch it and he throws him out. Two down in the inning. That ball came up fast on Trey Turner. But he was well in position. He gathered himself. He couldn't make the one the catch on one knee, but able to gather himself, get to the ball, and get, get it across to first. So two down to Rowdy Telez, and he takes a strike at a sinker at 98, and the count's 0-1. Braves lost 5-1 to one today. Oh, my. Telez is 0-3. He's flown out twice, and he has a strikeout. The pitch, low, one ball, one strike. Wine 
One one pitch, swing and a miss, and the count's one and two. Telez, the former Blue Jay and the former Brewer. Born in Sacramento, California. One and two, the count. Alvarado was ready, and so was Telez. The one two, a pop up foul out of play. We'll do it again. And Alvarado ran that pitch in on him. He's one for three in his career against Alvarado. One and two, the count. Y'all remember when there were only four divisions in baseball? I guess they wanted to, I don't know. I don't like the sixth division alignment. One, two, pitch. Swing and a miss, and the inning is over. Telez strikes out for the second time. He's now 0 for 4. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. Let's see if Philadelphia can get the lead. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Pirates 3, Phillies 3. We'll be back. Bottom of the eighth inning as Hunter Stratton now comes on to pitch for the Phillies. 3-5-1 and one for the Pirates. 3-5-0 three, three, and oh for the Pirates. 3-7-1 and one for the Phillies. Here's the pitch to Garrett Stubbs. It's outside for ball one. The Reds have won today. They beat the White Sox 5 to nothing. The Braves lost. Somebody said the Atlanta was in the West for some reason. Yeah, and they won the West quite a few times. 1-0 the count. The pitch. Is a strike, and the count seem in one and one. And we got activity in the Phillies bullpen as Jeff Hoffman is now up and throwing the right hander. One and one to Garrett Stubbs, who is 0 for 3 on the day. You'd love to see him get on base and start a rally. One one pitch, swing it a high fly ball into deep right field, going back at the track, and he'll have room in front of the wall. Connor Joe will he'll make the catch. And there's one out in the eighth. I just subscribed to your channel, Snowman. Thank you, Kenneth. If any of you guys can couple the subscribe with the Cash App so I can help my family, that would be great. Uh, the tag you need for Cash App is dollar sign tallman doctor K50. If you can contribute via PayPal, let me know, and I'll put that information in the chat. I thought Stubbs got a hold of one. The wind kept that one in the park. One out to Christian Pache who is one for two with a walk. There's a strike. There's a ball, I beg your pardon. And the count's 1-0 and oh to Christian Pache. He's one for two, as I said, a single and a walk. 
Brace freaking flyer miles must have been crazy back then. Yeah, I I believe it. There's a strike and the count is one and one. Same with the Atlanta Falcons when they were in the NFC West and they had to play San Francisco, Los Angeles, and um, I think the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals moved to the West. The pitch inside and it's two and one. No, I take that back. They played um, the, 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 the Falcons in the old NFC West played the 49ers. They played the Rams, and they played the New Orleans Saints. Next one, swinging a foul. The count's even two and two. Yeah, that was the, that was the West lineup. San, Atlanta, San Francisco, the Rams, and New Orleans. Christian Pache is up to the plate. Brandon Marsh will pinch it. For Johan Rojas, here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Two and two, the count to Pache. Here she comes, low and outside, and it gets away from the catcher, and the count's now full at three and two. One out, a long out. Here in the eighth, Garrett Stubbs flew out to right fielder Connor Joe. I'll be with you tomorrow at 120. I'll have the lineups at 130 and the first pitch at 135. The left final game of that series is tomorrow. Three and two. Here she comes. A swing and a miss. And there's two out in the inning as Pache goes down. He is now one for three with a walk. And Brandon Marsh will pinch it for Johan Rojas. So Rojas' day ends one for three, a single in the second, a foul out in this. Yeah, a, a force out, I beg your pardon, in the fourth. And a strikeout in the sixth. And the lefty Brandon Marsh is up to the plate now here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Stratton is ready. So is Marsh. The pitch, swinging a grounder foul, and the count's on one. A cutter at 91. Brandon Marsh is a 176 career pinch hitter with a home run and three RBIs. He has struck out 10 times. 0-1-1, the count. The pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and the count's 0-2. No balls, two strikes. The 0-2 on the way. High and wide, and the count's 1-2. and two. One ball, two strikes to count. Two out, bottom of the eighth inning. 3-3 three, three tie. And the pitch to Marsh is outside, and the count's now even at 2-2. Two and two. Three runs, five hits, one error for the Phillies. Three runs, seven hits, one error for the Phillies. Three runs, five hits, no errors for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Giants beat the Rays this afternoon. Two and two to Brandon Marsh. Here she comes. A slash foul out of play. We'll do it again. Count remains where it is. Two and two. Two out. Nobody on. Bottom of the eighth inning. Brandon Marsh is pinch inning. For a moon for Johan Rojas. I beg your pardon. And the pitch. High and wide with a fastball, and the count's full three and two. Stratton is set, so is Marsh. The payoff pitch. Strike three called on the outside corner. So Stratton comes in, gets two strikeouts, and the Phillies go up and out in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. Hang on to your seats, folks. We go to the money frame, the top of the ninth inning. It's the Pirates 3 and the Phillies 3. We'll be back.
to the top of the ninth inning we go. And yes, Larry, I did mention some trivia. I just never got a chance. I never got a chance to do it. See, this is why I, and I'm at fault for this because I didn't plan everything out. I didn't plan it. I didn't plan everything out. I didn't write everything out, and that's my fault. But I do have a trivia. I do have a trivia question for you. As we go to the ninth, here's the pitch to Connor Joe. He fouls it out of play as Jeff Hoffman is now on. He'll face the bottom of the order. Connor Joe, Henry Davis, and Alika Williams. They're scheduled to hit. Flyer City did elbows one to nothing. They're in the they're at the end of the second period. The 0 1 pitch fouled out of play, and the count's 0 2. And Joe is mad at himself for that excuse me swing. Connor Joe is 0 for 3, ground out of fielder's choice and a strikeout. Hoffman making his seventh appearance. He's 1 0 on the year, 284 ERA. He has walked three, struck out seven, get, not giving up a home run, and the opponents are adding 227 against him. The next one, strike three called. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. One out in the ninth. One up, one down here in the ninth inning, and Henry Davis will come to the plate as Hoffman blew a fastball right by him. Here's the pitch to Davis. It's upstairs for ball one. 96 mile an hour on that fastball. Davis 0 for 3. He has popped out and struck out twice. 1-0. Uh, the 0-1, excuse, excuse me, is a fastball. They have that count even at one and one. Well, I'll go with what they got. One ball, one strike. It was. It was because it was high and tight. Duh. Oh, boy. Time called at the plate. I'm sorry, folks. I have been slipping all day today. Think about donuts way too darn much. <laughs> One and one the count. The kick and the pitch. Swing at a foul out of play, and it's one and two. By all means necessary is joined and says, let's go Phillies. Love that. Oops. Man, my heater is acting a fool here. One and two. The pitch on the way. Curve ball. Missed it. Counts even two and two. Let's see if I can get this thing going here. There we got it. Bednar and Hernandez throwing for the Pirates in their bullpen. Two and two, the count. Sister Rep says, let's go, Phillies. Next one, curveball outside, and the count's full, three and two. I beg your pardon, came at him with the slider. Alika Williams on deck. He's one for two with a run scored. That came in the fifth. Next one, popped up into center field. Coming on is Pache. He makes the catch. Two down in the inning. So Brandon Marsh is in the game in left field. Pache moves to center in place of Rojas. Here's Alika Williams. One for two on the day. He singled, he walked, and he scored a run. That came on that home run by O'Neill Cruz in the fifth. 3-3 three, three tie here in the top of the ninth. That's a strike, and the count's on one. The one-strike pitch to Williams is low with a fastball. And the count's now even. One ball, one strike. By all means necessary, the bullpen has been awesome tonight. Yes, they have. Since uh, Turnbull gave up that two-run homer, they have not allowed nothing. The pitch, curveball, strike, and the count's one and two. Beg your pardon, that was a slider. Let's get this out, and let's go get a run, and let's go home. 
One and two, the count. Top of the ninth inning with two outs, nobody on. One, two to Williams. Fastball outside, and the count is even two and two. I want to remind y'all, do not post any spoilers in the chat. That's a rule. When you come into the chat, do not post any spoilers. Two and two. The pitch on the way. Curveball popped foul out of play. We'll do it again. Throwing a slider, a slider, and then a curveball. And Hoffman wants to get rid of Williams and give the Phillies a chance to get out of here. Next one, outside with a fastball. And the count is now full at three and two. Do not post any spoilers in the chat. That is a rule. Mods, if you see any spoilers, boot the person that's in there or at least put them in timeout. Next one, swing a grounder foul. We'll do it again. Nicholas Moore is with us. What's up, Nick? Good to have you with us here. 41 people watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to both channels because this is on two channels tonight. Three and two. The set and the pitch from Hoffman is swung on and lifted to left. Brandon Marsh is right there, and the inning is over. Six and a, seven in a row retired by the Phillies bullpen, and now they have a chance to win it. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. All right, folks, it's money time. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Phillies three, Pirates three. We'll be back. Kyle Schwarber will lead off the bottom of the ninth. The top of the order, Schwarber, Turner, and Bryce Harper. Jose Hernandez on to pitch in his fifth game. 1-0 is his record. He has a save, doesn't have any RA. Four innings pitch, no walks, three strikeouts. The opponents are batting 143 against him. All right, let's see what we can do against this guy. Kyle Schwarber will lead it off. He has a home run today. That came in the first. And that tied the game at the time at one. Swing and a miss, and he was going for it. And the count's on one. He was going for the win. Schwarber, two for two with two walks. The 0 1 to Schwarb, swing and a miss, and the count's on two on a slider. Two balls, two strikes. Uh, no ball, no balls, two strikes. I beg your pardon. Hernandez is ready. And the 0-2 to Schwab. Swinging a shot toward right. Down for a base hit. The winning run is on. And Schwarber is three for three. Two singles and a home run. Mixing a walk and two runs scored. 
And he will be lifted for a pinch hitter. Or a pinch runner, I beg your pardon. I have slipped today. I am sorry about that, folks. Guitar Bonk says a former Cub will save the day. Man, I got a Tuesday. I'm going to talk about my unbridled hatred for the Chicago Cubs. All right. We have a pinch runner at first. And Hernandez will pitch to Trey Turner, who is one for four. He doubled in the first, scored a run. That gave the Phillies at the time a two-to-one lead. Bottom of the ninth, winning run aboard. The pitch to Turner is a low and inside with a slider for ball one. One oh pitch on the way is a breaking ball. They off they appeal. No swing, and it's two and oh. Two balls, no strikes. Jose Hernandez looks in, gets a sign. Now comes set. And the two-o to Trey is a slider. He missed. Three and oh. Three and oh, the count. Fans are up at Citizens Bank Park. Three and oh, the count to Trey Turner. The pitch on the way is a strike, and it's three and one with a fastball. Three and one to Trey Turner. The pitch on the way. Is a strike and it's three and two. Spoken like a Sox fan. Darn right. Been a Sox fan all my life. Three generations worth. Even if I don't see 2005 again, doggone it. We got that one. I was able to celebrate with my dad before we passed away. The payoff to Trey. Bouncer foul. We'll do it again. Dag nabbit. Mm. Three and two, nobody out, runner at first. Hernandez comes set, gives a look to first base. And now he throws over there. The runner's back safely. It's Whit Merrifield who is running at first base. And everyone's standing at Citizens Bank Ballpark on a windy day in Philadelphia, but a sellout crowd is there. Payoff pitch. Low ball four. Two on with nobody out. Turner exercises his patience, and he's on for the second time today. And Bryce Harper will come to the plate. Talk about a chance to win it. And everybody in the infield going to talk to the young Hernandez. Harper has 11 career walk-off hits. The last one was an RBI single in 2020 versus the Mets. How about getting one here and sending everybody home? Larry says Bryce owes us. Yeah. Harper today won a 0 for 3 with a walk. He walked in the seventh inning. After the Phillies tied it. Merrifield leads away at second. That's the person you need to watch. The pitch bounced foul at the plate. And that's his. Oh, he swung and missed. He swung and missed. The catcher missed it. And now you got the winning run 90 feet away. So a sack fly will end the game. I remember the grand slam he hit against the Cubs off Derek Holland. He did miss it. 
and it bounced out in front of the plate, and Davis didn't know where it went. The 0 1 to Harp. Low, and it bounces away, and Merrifield does not take the chance. Oh, good Lord. And the Pirates nearly threw the ball away. Count even, one ball, one strike. And Hernandez is, is truly shaken right now. That got away, and Merrifield did not make the chance. And then Davis threw the ball that got past Hernandez. I'll tell the cashiers at the pay window, Snowman called a great game. I, I thank you for that. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one pitch is a breaking ball strike, and it's 1-2 and two to Bryce Harper. Man, if someone can help with a cash app today while I'm while I'm on, that would be absolutely awesome. And I would appreciate it very, very much. One and two. Harper is ready. So is Hernandez. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss. And there's one out in the ninth. Third time Harper strike has struck out today. He is now 0 for 4 with a walk. No spoilers in the chat, please. Harper has not had a good day at the plate. Alec Bohm will now come up to hit. Hernandez has thrown 14 pitches. The infield is in. And there may be yet another pitching change. Let's see what happens. Everybody give me the young Hernandez a little encouragement. He's going to take the ball from him. And we got a new pitcher that will come into the game. His job is to get out of the inning. The Phillies' job is to get that winning run home. One out, bottom of the ninth. Back in a minute. Ronsi Contreras making his fifth appearance with a 1-0 record. And they have walked, uh, they have intentionally, I believe they have intentionally walked Alec Bohm. They have. So now you have the double play in order, second walk in the inning, and you bring up Nick Castellanos, who is one for four. Infield, double play, depth up the middle. And Castellanos would love to come through after a tough day at the plate since the first inning, since that run-scoring single. The pitch, a swing and a high fly ball into deep center field. Center fielder racing back. It's down, and in comes the winning run in Whitmer Field, and the Phillies have walked it off, and they win 4-3. to three. Nick Castellanos comes through with his second run-scoring single of the day. And the Phillies have won it by a final of four to three.
And the Phillies have rallied in the ninth. They get the winning run. Thank you, Nick Castellanos, who took the first pitch he saw and rocketed it to center field. And that is the game. The Phillies have done it. They now move to 8-7 and seven on the year. And the Pittsburgh Pirates, Pirates will drop to 10-5. and five. Your final score, the Phillies 4 and the Pirates 3. We'll be back to wrap it up after this. Man, what a game. What a game. The final score. Whoop, I didn't bring myself back. I'm sorry about that, folks. There I am. The final score, Philadelphia 4 and Pittsburgh 3. And Philadelphia has now claimed two games in the series, so they can do no worse than a split. Here's your final totals on the board for the Phillies. Four runs, nine hits, one error, 12 left on base. Jeff Hoffman, the winner, he is 2-0 and on the year. For the Pittsburgh Pirates, who dropped to 10 and 5 and still second in the NL Central, three runs, five hits, and no errors. They left six on base. The loser is Jose Hernandez. He's now one and one on the year. This game was played in two hours and 57 minutes with the first pitch thrown at 4.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. As mentioned, the game was played in two hours and 57 minutes, two hours, 57 minutes, and it was played in front of 40,519, and they were loud, and they were proud, and they were well into it. And I want to thank everybody in the chat that has supported Old Snowman on this call. Remember, JJ will be back tomorrow with the final game of the Sixers season. If they are, if they uh, get to the play-in, I might have to sit in for them. Just depends on the time, but we'll get it all together. Your final score, 4-3 Philadelphia as Nick Castellanos wins the game with a walk-off single. 
I'll be back with you tomorrow at one twenty with the pregame show, wrapping up this one. And the I'll have the lineups at one thirty, and at one thirty-five we'll have the first pitch of the ball game. Four three, your final. Again, let's go through the final. Let's go through the final numbers really quick. Four runs, nine hits, one error, 12, on, 12 left on base for the Phillies. Three runs, five hits, no errors, and six left on base for the Pirates. Again, it was played in two hours, 57 minutes in front of 40,519. Well, there you go, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow at 120, and the first pitch is 135 as these two teams wrap up a four-game series. My name is Brian Snow. Hope you all enjoyed it as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels, Play by Play with JJ, as well as Snowman Multimedia. Phew! This was a tough one, but it was a good one. Final score, Phillies 4 and the Pirates 3. Until tomorrow, have a great night. God bless. Remember to make your next move your best move, and always remember if your dreams don't scare you, they are simply not big enough. Dream big, do bigger. I am, we are, and we hope you all are too. Good night, everybody.